guys this is mike at deep south classics we are back today i know it's been a minute but uh been fighting some sickness and another round of covid but anyway we're back gonna do another little video on this uh newest little project truck we got 64 chevy c10 short bed step side i'm gonna flip it around and let you take a look at what we're looking at got a new project on the ponderosa little 64 short bed c10 step side this sucker is all original. Got the original owner's manual, the original warranty book in it. I mean, it's original. Got a little 236 cylinder from the factory. Three speed on the column, just a, you know, your basic work truck in a short bed step side form. Uh, all of them here in South Alabama is gonna have rotten hoods on them, but otherwise it's a fairly decent old truck. <clears throat> here we go, fellas. I pulled this thing, uh, out of a field uh just it's been a few weeks ago now but uh, as you can see i hadn't done anything with it it's uh it's been sitting for about 20 years i believe uh, according to the last tag on it and the last registration i found in the truck but this thing is super original um i don't know if you can read that sticker but anyway it says 2006 which means it was bought in 2005 but anyway, so it's been, I guess, about 19 years. But anyway, it's got a lot of crud on it. Like I said, it was sitting under, it was sitting under a bunch of trees. Um, and the people that had bought the property didn't even know the truck was there when they bought the house and property until they got to clearing off a bunch of trees. They bought, I think, 200 acres of land and just found this truck sitting there. Um, anyway, uh, I wish somebody would have got it out of the weather uh several years ago but anyway it's still a pretty pretty decent old truck rocker panels ain't bad floor pans ain't bad it's got a little rust in the bottom of the door but that's pretty typical i mean it's a pretty decent old truck got a little bit on the inside the cab over the windshield but it ain't terrible yet i mean we can work with it but uh anyway i should have Start a video in a little bit earlier. I've already replaced the ignition switch. Uh, the keys were lost. And anyway, uh, I've done so many of these things. I've had a ton of these trucks through the years that it literally takes me about two minutes and I just got started and didn't think about filming it. But anyway, uh, I just replaced the whole thing since they already had a start button mounted in the dash right there anyways, I assume the ignition switch was probably bad and then the keys got lost um between owners and property being sold and that kind of thing so we just put a whole new setup in it from lmc give them a shout out anyway like i said it's a pretty decent old truck door shut really tight on it it's probably out of all of them i've owned they probably shut better than any of these old c10s i have on this one it does need a cab corner on this side, but that's pretty much to be expected. Somebody's put metal in the bed years and years ago. But not a bad truck overall. Short bed, step side. Some people like them, some people hate step side beds. I grew up, my dad built one of these trucks, a 66 model short bed step side when I was a young teenager. So I grew up around them, I like them. I like the fleet sides as well, my own several of both but anyway like i said this rocker here has got a little bit of rust at the edge of it where it meets the inner rocker but it ain't terrible um like i said a pretty solid old truck I actually uh, threw an old halfway charged up battery in it earlier after I put the ignition switch in turned it on and uh got the horn blowing the lights come on um, so we're going the engine this acts like it's stuck. It's either that or my battery is still like really weak, but it's better than the one that was 22 years old that was in it. So anyway, the hood, the hood is the worst of it now. Here in South Alabama, it's hard to find one of these trucks that's got a good solid hood on them, but most of them ain't quite this bad. But I have located a hood already. I just gotta go pick it up. Uh, like I said, just been I've been sick. I've got one located, but hadn't had a chance to go get it yet. So, but we are gonna do that. But we're gonna pull the plugs out of this thing in just a minute. 
put some uh, Marvel Mystery Oil in the cylinders and let it sit for a few days and just see what it might do. And I know it's just an old six cylinder, but you know, it's the original six, a 230 according to the uh, owner's manual that's in the truck. It actually still has the warranty book in the truck too as well. So, but anyway, I already pulled the plug wires off um, before I started filming, but anyway, we're gonna um, pour some marble mystery oil in the cylinders and let it soak for a few days and just see if we can get it freed up. I think we think we probably can. It's um, I don't think it's stuck that bad, but anyway, we also got this 63 we just picked up. Uh, it's a little rough around the edges, but this truck was actually running and driving just a couple weeks ago. Uh, guy I know um, has had it for a few years. He had it. He had to put. He put an engine transmission in it, redone the brakes. Um, it's got new exhaust on it, new rims and tires. Well, they were new a couple years ago. Anyway. But it's, uh, it's more of a, you know, ratty style truck. Um, we're probably going to throw it up for sale. <clears throat> I'm not sure yet, but I kind of landed both of these the same week. Uh, just like I said, I've had a bunch of these things and I like them. So but this one is the old knee knocker cab. So it's got the two humps on the dash, the uh, speedometer nozzle laying there in the seat. It's got a shifter in the floor, but it's set up for an automatic. It has a 350 in it. It's got Flowmaster exhaust on it. Anyway, 15 by 8 with black wagon wheels on the back. Or 15 by 10s on the back, 15 by 8s on the front. So Anyway, I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. We, we'll probably just sell it, I imagine. But anyway, it was just uh, one of them deals where my buddy had it needed anyway just needed to help him out so um, but we're gonna get back to this 64 I, I really like the uh i mean I, the knee knocker cabs are fine and i like them they're cool but i like these other ones better myself just personal opinion i know a lot of people like the, the older ones but i've owned more of these and i don't know i just kind of like the look of this one i'm going i am going to pressure wash it and we'll do that on another video i think we may uh be able to change the color on it yeah. um this truck was originally i guess it was white listed as white so i'm assuming it was sort of like a an off-white as you can tell got a little bit here on the firewall but there ain't any paint left hardly on the outside of it it's but you know like i said it's been sitting in the weather at least 20 years um and who knows it's probably never been kept in a shed or anything so this thing was made to work you know and that's what people use them for especially around here so anyway y'all hang with us let's see what we can get done with right we got the spark plugs out they actually really don't look that bad i mean they just old plugs they're not uh fouled up really that bad to be what they are but anyway as long as the truck's been sitting but we're gonna we'll just clean them up and try to stick them back in it later but uh, like i said we're gonna poke a little marble mystery oil on these cylinders i can't uh can't film and do it today. I forgot my tripod, but anyway, just uh, check them back in with you. Let's, let's see what we're doing, and uh, we'll come back and visit it again in a little bit. All right, folks, well, this thing was locked up with a little bit of marble mystery oil soaking for a couple days, and watch this. We done shot all the marble mystery oil out, and this baby's spinning free. I mean, it shot it out everywhere. It's dripping off the hood. I'm gonna take care of a little bit of that rust on the side right here. That already looks better. We may just pour marble mystery oil all over the whole truck. We're gonna clean these spark plugs up and get this thing running. 49 International Rat Rod. Back to the Ponderosa. Yeah, the bottom end of the engine is knocking real bad. We gotta put another engine in it. Got another engine laying in the bed over there already. It's got a roller motor in it. Roller motor 350. Sitting on an S10 Blazer frame. Pretty neat old truck. In the 
shop today for a little therapy session. Ain't been able to do much over here in the last few weeks. Been real sick. Sometimes you just need a little therapy. y'all can't tell we like old trucks got that 64 chevrolet engine turning over yesterday it was locked up a 63 c10 roller but it was a running and driving truck just a couple weeks ago my dad's 57 pontiac wagon it's fixing to take it to their house in pigeon forest tennessee so anybody sees it cruising around y'all give them a shout out and this little rat rod truck we got that he just picked up yesterday. Supposedly the engine's trying to lock up and making a knock of noise, but uh, I think the starter is actually just loose on it. We're gonna give it a whirl and see. Hopefully we'll have this one on the road pretty soon. Do it, it's a international as well. That's what the little rat rod is. This is a 46 international an engine swap on it. It's got a small block Chevy in it. Hopefully have it up and running again soon. <laughs> 